Hey guys, this is a quick setup manual for your Samsung Galaxy book. Anyways, right now, if you just got it, the very first thing you guys should do is charge it up. So before we charge it on, I just want to mention that to turn this on, if it was charged, once you just lift up the lid, it should turn on. However, they come with zero battery, which in my personal opinion, not a good thing. But anyways, we're going to have to charge it up and then we can actually get started with the setup regardless if you're setting this up and it's fully charged you still should have it charging up while we're doing the setup and another way to turn it on by the way right here this is actually a power button so you guys can press there hold on to it for this to turn on so those are the two ways to turn it on right now as soon as we plug it in it will turn on anyways we can go throughout the setup so to charge your galaxy book all we need the cables you guys got and the brick so your ac adapter just plug it in whichever end it does not actually matter which one so it's this one that you guys got with it and this end i'll show you where that plugs in but first connect it to your wall outlet and then on the left hand side you guys will see this that's where you guys charge this so go ahead and hook it up just make sure it's nice and tight in there there should be a light going on red at this point so let me just show you again uh we should see this right here and we're just gonna let it charge so that's how you know it's charging by the way because you do get that indicator right here so it tells you exactly how much charge it's got and then we can just go on with the setup anyways so before we keep going with the whole setup just want to show you this is your trackpad basic keyboard like i mentioned that's your power key and then you have several ports on the side. So both sides should have some ports. If you guys want to hook this up to an external monitor, there's your HDMI, you got regular USB, USB-C, and you got some other ports on the other side as well. Okay, so if you guys want headphones, something like that goes over there on the right-hand side. Uh, other than that, there's nothing else that you guys should know before we begin with the setup, besides the fact that we have to charge this up for a little bit before we do this. So as mentioned before, to power it on, all you guys usually have to do is just open up the lid. But since it's the first time, sometimes you just have to, right hand side, you guys are gonna see this button all the way on the right hand side, press on it, your keyboard should light up a little bit. And then finally we see the Samsung logo. So it's Samsung Galaxy logo. And we're gonna get started with the whole setup right now. So this should not take too long, technically speaking. After that, you should see this screen. So these are the very first screen and uh, just choose whichever language you guys want. In this case, English is just fine. So to select anything, just use right here, your trackpad. Once you select something, you guys can go on and tap on it just by tapping. So you don't have to actually do a real click. So don't worry about that. And then let's keep going with the setup. So the second thing is gonna ask you for your country, choose whatever makes sense to you. Choose the US is fine. Next, and then uh, your keyboard. You guys can choose any one of these. There's a bunch of them. If you scroll down, now to scroll on your trackpad, you use two fingers and then just scroll down. You just move your fingers like so on it and it's gonna scroll down. So just to show you that action, again, I'm doing this to scroll up, this to scroll down. So once you find the keyboard that you want, just select it, then go into yes, select yes. And then if you guys want to add a secondary keyboard, this is the time to do it. Uh, usually people that speak several languages do that. In my case, we're okay. So we're just gonna skip that just by tapping there. And then you do need internet for this. So we're just gonna go downwards or choose one that makes sense. So VR is fine. Usually I only connect my VR stuff here, but it's okay. Uh, just put in your password. All right, so once you put in your password, just go into next. It's gonna verify and connect. For those of you who are gonna ask me, do I need internet? Yes, you do. Go into next once it's cooked up. That could happen. Uh, when it's checking for updates, will it find updates for you guys? Yes, it will. It always finds updates. So that's why when you're setting this up, so even if you fully charge this before you did the setup, and that's recommended by the way, you should have it hooked up charging meanwhile, regardless. So we're gonna go into a set because you don't want this to turn off when it's doing any updates or checking for any updates. Anyways, right now, 
you have to name your device. So you can name it whatever you want. So here we go, we just type up whatever you want, going to next. That's just gonna say, just a moment. You will see a black screen, the logo again. It's pretty much just restarting at this point. Then it's gonna load up again and you are on your way. So it's gonna check for Windows updates. After it checks for any updates, if it finds anything, which it will, it's gonna start downloading. At this point in time, you guys can just leave it then come back to it afterwards because it's gonna take some time. It does depend on your internet speed, how fast this goes, but at the same time, it's brand new, so it's gonna download quite a bit. So again, at this point in time, just let it be and then come back to it after a few minutes and check up on it every few minutes. So I would say every 10 minutes, come back to it and see if you guys can go on with the whole setup. But um, you guys can also scroll through here, by the way, just to give you a quick tutorial about everything. You guys can just scroll through, but there isn't that much information anyways. So again, like I mentioned before, have this hooked up, have it charging, although you might have 100% of your battery already, and just let it download updates, gonna install them by himself. Don't really have to do anything yourselves. So grab that cup of coffee, go eat lunch, play some video games, then come back to this later on. All right, so once the update's done, you should see a screen like so. You guys can go ahead and sign in to unlock all of this, which you should. You should technically sign in. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So on the bottom right hand side, you guys are gonna see sign in, just tap there. Then if you don't have a Microsoft account, create one. To create one, that's option down here below. So you will see create option. If you already have a Microsoft account, then go ahead and put it in. So Microsoft account could be, let's say if you guys have an email, dot hotmail or anything like that, Microsoft Edge, OneDrive, anything like that. So there'll be Microsoft, that's your Microsoft account. And by the way, there are sign-in options down here below as well. So I'm just gonna tap on the sign-in options so you guys can see those. There's uh, face, fingerprint, pin, security key. There's that as well. Uh, for now, we're just gonna go back. We're just gonna sign in. So just put in your email. And once you guys have signed in, here we go. So it will ask you for your password, by the way. You guys can use an app to sign in. So many ways to sign in without using a password. But anyways, uh, right now you guys can just use your fingerprint to sign in. And that's on the top of here. That button, the power button, is also for your fingerprint. So you can definitely set that up. I'm gonna show you how to set that up right now. So let's just go into, yes. We can always skip it, by the way. So if you guys don't want that, not interested, skip it. But I'm gonna show you how to do that, which is uh, extremely, extremely simple. So all we have to do is just touch the sensor that's on the top right hand side. And we're just gonna lift, lift, touch again, lift, touch again, lift. And we just do that several times. And the reason why we have to do that is so it completes the entire fingerprint. And just try not to move your finger too much. Although you are lifting it up and down, don't move it too much. Other than that, we're done. Next. We can just tap next. Right now we have to create a pin. So that's very important. You should always create a pin. So we're gonna create one. It can be very simple or very easy. Can it be something like one, two, three, four? Well, if only you are gonna to touch your computer and not really worried about anything, you could try to do that, but it's gonna tell you that you can't. You have to include something a little bit more complex than that. So just don't make it a one, two, three, four pin. At least make it like uh, 75, uh, 49. There you go, that's a pin that would work. For example, then going to next, obviously it should be a, something that you guys are gonna remember. Anyways, right here you guys can tap on no for anything that you guys don't want. I suggest leaving it all on because it's personalized offers and all that stuff. You usually want that because you don't want random stuff getting to you. So we're just gonna accept that. I'd rather have personal ads because that will get stuff that I'm interested in and not just any stuff. For some of you may see this, stuff that you guys can recover. Others that are brand new, you won't see that. So for me, I'm gonna see my last backup. That was from another PC that I had. I'm just gonna continue on with that. Here we go, it's gonna restore that. Which by the way, you do not need to restore anything if you don't want to. So right now it's just getting things ready and we're almost done. Again, not everybody's gonna see that screen to restore things. You might not have used a PC before, but if you use this account on another PC, you can definitely restore some things. 
so you guys will get some apps in there and whatever you backed up. All right, so right here, this is something you guys can definitely skip, but at the same time, it's nice to customize your experience. So for me, I'm actually not a developer, so I wanna take off a check mark from there. I am interested in entertainment, gaming. That's what I'm gonna use this computer for. Some business, sure, no family stuff. So I'm gonna accept, you guys can also skip this by the way. So I'm just gonna accept. And then from here, if you guys have an Android phone, definitely, definitely scan this. So you guys can just manage calls from here and respond to texts from your computer itself. And that's pretty cool. But if you don't have one, you have an iPhone, just skip it. So again, you guys should scan this if you guys wanna back up your pictures and everything like that on OneDrive. Um, not interested, just skip. Now again, this is good if you guys have an Android or anything else like that. You might want to have access to your browsing data pretty easily. Um, I would just accept, or you guys can just put that now. It really depends on you guys. For me, I don't like that stuff transferring on, so I'm gonna keep it off. This does give you this for free, okay? So Microsoft, so that's like Word and all that stuff. It's gonna give you free for a month, and then you guys have to pay for it because it is a subscription service. However, if you guys already have it, then I would just decline it. So I'm gonna decline. So if you guys had it on another PC or anything else like that, you should decline that. I'm just gonna go next. And then it's gonna ask you if you guys wanna join. I'm gonna put that now, so I don't need it. Maybe you guys already have it. You definitely don't have to join it again. And here we go. We're pretty much done. Your setup is all done. You guys can get started using your awesome computer. So here it is. Here's your computer. You guys can get started just using it. It's just like any other one. So go ahead, enjoy it. And that would be it for today's setup video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.